uh, Steve wanted to be involved with everything, and that includes the driving. And uh, we were doing this shot through our, our arch corner. Uh, we did a few takes of this, uh, all rushing through at racing speed. Nothing was meant to be speeded up in this film because it, it looks it, and he wanted it authentic. Um, and uh, but he was driving; he wanted to drive, particularly in Amazon, and he made an error on a shift, and the engine went. And it was a very expensive exercise. So we needed to keep the film going with this other car, which had got damaged. wasn't wasn't the camera car because I think I was driving that. And um, so they had to get another engine, and they got in, in touch with the factory and they hadn't got any rebuild engines. All they had was a, a new one, which was going to be much more expensive than a rebuild. And so they said, we've got to have it. You know, they're going to put it through insurance anyway. So uh, they had it. And then some days later, I guess, the insurance company wanted to know this massive expense, you know, for a film that's budget was only $1 million it was originally. It went to eight, <laughs> quite over budget, and um, so they, they, so the, the the insurance people asked, well, what happened? And so they were explained what happened, the driver, but, uh, and then the last question was, well, well, who's who was the driver? And they said, and they had to say who it was. I don't know, maybe they shouldn't have said who it was. They said, oh, it's Steve McQueen. Well, the insurance company were insuring the whole film. Well, if Steve had got damaged in any way the film that would have finished the whole thing so they banned him from driving and that really 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 upset him if you, if you can imagine this was going to be his film he was in charge of everything but not the insurance and um, there was a, there was another time when he was uh, doing to get the real sort of positive shot of cars going down the straight he got us all to drive by him he was lying in the middle of the road with a camera there, with cars going past him at, you know, 100 and something miles an hour, yeah, maybe 200. But that's how into it he was. So to be told that he couldn't drive again was, was really sad, actually, yeah.